Chef Deuce's Island Grill is a food truck. I have a chef-inspired Caribbean menu. I want to create the taste of the tropics in East Tennessee. Here at Knoxville Zoo tonight, we're having an event that we have every year called Art Gone Wild, and it's uh, the, the most unique art event in Knoxville. So all of the art is done by our animals, and they are the artists, and all of the proceeds from this fundraiser go right back into the enrichment program, which keeps our animals stimulated and keeps their behavior wild and complex. Every day, really, we have an active enrichment program. Our bears love to get, eat, destroy different food items, so they get watermelons in the water. They like to fish those out and dig for them. Our birds really like things that they can manipulate and destroy, um, so our turkey loves to rip up phone books. Um, our otters love any sort of in-the-water enrichment. So we do different types of things for enrichment for the dragon. A lot of it's environmental. Um, some of it is simple as letting animals go outside. Um, in her old exhibit, she didn't have access outside. Um, in this new exhibit, which is very nice, she does have access to outside when it's warm. Probably the second biggest thing we do um, is like novel food items. And what a novel food item is is something that she wouldn't normally get on a regular basis. And why that's important is because there's meat on the bone still, um, and she can't swallow it whole. So Komodo dragons are prone to having underdeveloped neck muscles in captivity, so allowing her to rip off the meat off the bone is very important, and she enjoys it thoroughly. But some kind of new novel things that we did with this new enclosure is we actually have walked goats and sheep into her enclosure, and that's very interesting because she doesn't eat goats and sheep. She potentially would in the wild, but it's a very new smell. She's never smelled them, to our knowledge, before. We'll brush them out so they lose some of their dander and lose some of their scent in there. Um, the goats re urinate and defecate, uh, which are all very exciting things to a Komodo dragon. All of the animals paint in different ways. Some are elephants as well as our primates just like to paint. So we can literally give them a canvas or hold a canvas and then through the barrier they can either hold a paintbrush or paint with their fingers or their trunks. We may spray non-toxic perfume around that would stimulate the cats to rub and roll in the paint and on the canvas. For birds, for instance, we'll scatter scratch or things that they like to eat on the canvas and then they will either, you know, walk through the paint to make those marks or do it with their beaks so it, it's all part of an enrichment painting itself is enriching they always have a choice whether they want to do it or not but in terms of the ways that they do it it's just as varied as the animal kingdom typically over ten thousand dollars a year we bring in from this event and then selling the art thereafter so the animals are working and having fun to produce that it's fun for our staff and then that money goes into buying toys and the scents and all of the things that again keep life stimulating and complex and helps them display more of their natural behavior Advertise with Noxine. Banners, buttons, and video commercials available. Be seen on Noxine.